In July of 2020, we found Akila on Craigslist. We're fixing her up as we go and learning to slow down and enjoy the process. But our sights are set on meeting new creatures in far off places. Join us for our first season as we sail south from Central Florida. We are going diving today. I'm really, really excited to get in the water. It's been hot and all I've been wanting to do is get in the water. So we finally get to do that today. Ryan's bringing his spear gun. So maybe we'll get a fish. We got all of our gear. It will be a good time. way out to the pipeline. Pipeline is a natural gas pipeline that comes out of Tampa Bay and heads way offshore. I think it out, goes all the way up to Alabama. It's covered in rocks and coral. And lots of lots of life down there. So we're gonna go get dinner. <laughs> I want to see a hammerhead. Do you think we're gonna see a hammerhead today? Probably. Yes. Great whites. Do you think we'll see a great white? No. Only if we're super lucky. We're out here using the sonar to try to find the pipeline. We want to make sure we can drop right on it. Let's keep it down with long hair, this is weird. <laughs> you got a stringer? <laughs> did they go underwater? Where did they go? Fish are so cool and strange looking, I can never help but watch them for a while. They are scaleless bottom dwellers and use their pectoral fins, which totally look like wings, to walk on the sand. They cannot move very quickly, but to make up for it, they are well camouflaged and can be hard to spot. Well, we found that. Oh, we didn't get lost. We just got like excited about that. <laughs> My heart rate went from 40 to 140 when I saw that grouper. Did Whoa. we see anything cool down there? My hair looks cool. Your hair does look cool. <laughs> yeah, I saw a, a spotted eel, a big, I don't know, gag groupers out of season. Bill, what'd you see? Big red grouper that I. A big see. red grouper. There was a hogfish. 
There was a pretty hot fish little female. I filmed. All right. Anyway, that was a really cool dive. I don't know if that was the pipeline or not, but it was a really cool reefy ledge that we found with some pretty fishies. They're big grunts. Sure you don't want some of this? No, yeah, I'm good. I have so much fish. All right, well, thanks, guys. Right, thank you. Out. Show us This is a mangrove snapper. The actual species name is uh, gray snapper, I believe. But they grow up in the mangroves, and they start to move out. Basically, the deeper you go, the bigger they get. This is about two inches above the legal limit. We got this in 50 feet of water today. It's one of our favorite foods. This is what we call a grunt. They're a pretty easy shot to make. They kind of stare at you in these waters. These are known as tacos. But this is a pretty good size one. The smaller one actually just gave me way more meat than the bigger one. Mm -hmm. These are rock hinds. We call them strawberry groupers around here. They look kind of small, but they're actually really fat. And if you ever go and have sushi and you have strawberry grouper, there's a really good chance that it's gonna be something like this. But there is actually a strawberry grouper. You gotta check out their teeth. I mean, it's a slipper lobster. They call them like shovel noses or something around here. They're not actually lobsters. They're like, everyone just calls them bugs, but they taste like lobster. Emily saw it today in the sand. She was videotaping. I was spearfishing. She pointed down and I see this guy scooting across the sand. So, snagged him. Yeah. What do you have on the grill? The bug that you found yesterday. Nice. It looks good. This is the strawberry grouper that Ryan shot a couple days ago. Rock hind. It is. We call them strawberries though because they look like strawberries. Delicious. Oops. 
and we're gonna make some ceviche with it. What is ceviche? Ceviche, um, I don't know. It's like some people might not know. Okay, well you should look it up on the internet. You marinate the fish in um, citrus to cook it and add some delicious vegetables. We froze this for about 36 hours and I'm just gonna cut it into little, little bites here. I guess freezing it kills the parasites. It's really good for sashimi too because it's got just enough texture. Beautiful fish. I don't know how juicy this feel, really. I'm straining it because I don't want pulp in my ceviche. You don't have to strain your lime lemon juice, your lemon lime juice. Um, I like to strain it because I don't like the pulp in the ceviche, but also you can get more out of your lemon and lime if you're not worried about squeezing the pulp out of your lemon and lime. So we used three limes and one lemon. They weren't the juiciest and we got about a half a cup of lemon lime juice. Ooh, I think it is enough. It just needs to all be covered. It doesn't need an excessive amount. All right, so we've got our ceviche going in the fridge for at least two hours. You can leave it for two hours up to 24 hours. Let's see, it's like three o'clock right now. So in like three hours, I'll chop up the veggies and add those. All right, we're gonna check on our fish here because I'm getting impatient. Let's see what this looks like. It's starting to look really good. If you know where to get spicy jalapenos in Florida, let us know in the comments. This ain't spicy. Tastes like a bell pepper. <laughs> oh, heavy rolls. Heavy rolls. Got some jalapenos, some tomato. I'm gonna do some red onion, cilantro. Hopefully. Sweet. We've got it all ready. That's a big chip. It's better than most of each I've ever had. Oh. It's probably just because of the strawberry grouper. 